faces. We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. Hmm, so, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air! And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow, like Artyom. Wait a moment, what was that? Special Restoration Committee speaking from the Ark Project Base. Everyone who can hear me, everyone... Listen, everyone! Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 1811-79. Alright. Area 18-5. Where was that number supposed to... Proceed to the rally point. Got it! point location is code So, it is somewhere around here. The Yamantau Mountain. So the route from here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive! It wasn't all for nothing! Everything will change! Everything! Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world! Yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... Hmm. Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> Do you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> 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 ah 
It's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time! Let's go around and be done with you. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! Oh, come How on! How about Aurora? The Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better! <laughs> Not bad! I like it! Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Aurora! Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yonamak, uh, full steam ahead. Hi. Full oh, steam gosh. ahead. Oh, wow, that's some yeah, distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Artyom, just so you know, words. scars attract the ladies. Artyom, what's done is done. Yes, I didn't stop you from going outside. Yes, I tried to talk you out of it. Yes, I didn't tell you you're not the only ones to survive. But even I didn't have the clearance. And not back then. This is a state secret. Do you understand? I've been granted clearance only after a fight to protect the D6. They said they needed me to teach their recruits, because the war was still on. Don't you think I was shocked? What did our people in D6 die for? What did I lose my legs for? But I understood. Because the war was still on, security was paramount. Our people would have understood. So please, do the same. He would have spilled the beans to everyone in Metro. Goddamn Prometheus, a messiah. You must lead the people out of the caves. Do you think you would have saved anyone? Remember that jammer? What if Moscow has been found out because of you? What if there are missiles inbound? Anyways, no matter what they think of me, I'm no deserter and will never become one. I'm ready to bear full responsibility for everything. But if there is even the smallest chance to earn my pardon, I will take it. Which means that we, like a runner that tripped, need to keep running ever faster just to keep balance. And don't dare you trip us all over again. Am I understood? I hope I am. Anyway, at least now we know where to run. So, go back inside and take a look at the map. Our route is pretty obvious now. Can you feel how sweet the air is without a mask? Or not just sweet, so many shades of taste it has. A weird feeling, eh, my friend? I remember you telling me how you took your mask off atop a Stonkin Otar. When you honed those missiles in on the Dark Ones. Was the air bitter then? Who knows, though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building, or received that signal. Life is weird, huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. And you are pulling that chain out of a deep, dark well. The links emerge from the dark water, and what drink is in that bucket that's on the end of the chain? That's a mystery. That's what I often think about when facing a choice. You can't drop the chain either. 
You always have to drink from that bucket. Well, bottoms up, I suppose. So, how does it feel to be the Moses who yanked on this particular chain? <laughs> Is it dumb to think about such things when all I ever did in life was carry out orders? Well, I'm not called idiot for nothing. Still, I would like to know what's on the end of your chain. Look, if there's no radiation, that means we could bring everyone out of Moscow. It doesn't matter if there's radiation or not, Comrade American. The citizens of Moscow will have to stay put. But why? We're just a short way from the city. And the radiation's gone. Things might have been that easy in your America, but life has never been so easy here. Even now, we woke up saviors of the metro, and by lunchtime, we're enemy spies, saboteurs, <laughs> train thieves, and what for? Something we thought was true turned out to be a lie, and that is enough for them to want us dead. The Hansa bosses must have known that we could live up here, but the public didn't know that. Who'd want to stay down in the metro if we told them? We cannot tell them. If they are ready to make mincemeat out of old ladies and kids to keep their secret, what do you think would they do to you, Uncle Sam? Huh? We can't go back. We can't use radio. Remember the jammers? And even if you pull a perfect rumbo and break through back into the metro, do you expect they'd all just believe you and go, Yes, Moses, lead us out of this Egypt? Can you even imagine the death toll? Take your average station dwellers. Even if the Hansa guards didn't shoot them, how far would they get? Right to the nearest mutant den, most likely. We are safe here, speeding along on this Eastern Express. They are not as lucky. Not at all. Well, what if there was a proper evacuation? <laughs> and who would do that? Hansa's people? The ones that kept us under lock and key for 20 years? Well, or us too. Besides, getting the people out of Moscow is not the end of it. You have to settle them somewhere, provide food. No, brother. I do get where you're coming from, but this matter is way more complex than it seems. I guess you're right. All this clean air went to my head. So, wait, does this mean the Colonel was in the know? His rank does seem to suggest that. Besides, he led negotiations with Hansa. Where would we be without them after the D6 debacle? They gave us weapons and recruits to replenish our losses. We, on the other hand, our competence does not stretch beyond thinking cozy thoughts and keeping the fools in the metro from killing each other off. Remember, if not us, then who? You are too smart for your own good, idiot. Hey, Demir, I've been thinking. How far are we gonna go? No masks needed. The railroad runs through the whole country. Hmm. As far as we want, I reckon. As for Yamantau, it's about 2,000 clicks away. No, I, I mean, how far can we get with the fuel we have? What's this machine's mileage? Ah, that. Uh, yeah, it certainly is a coal guzzler, this thing. But then again, there should be coal stores at every station. And if we don't find any, we could still burn firewood. So, how did you like that fresh air? Out of this world, isn't it? I thought I'd ask your Mac about where we're headed next. I'm sorry, I interrupted. Uh, it's all right. Don't worry. There's not much left to tell. About a year, I guess. At first, they got me to sign up by singing of my experience helping people. Told me about weather stations and mutant migration observers. I was proud to be helping those. Then, about two months ago, they loaded a bunch of people onto my Aurora. The guards took them outside and came back alone. 
told me they took the people to a nearby station, but I knew it had caved in years ago. A few days later, I was coming back from a run, stopped the train, went and found those people. Soon they understood that I saw that ravine. Fed me the usual lies about the spies and whatnot. Did you believe them? Well, it sure seems safer to believe. But then, I just couldn't keep the charade up. Then the security officer told me straight. Whoever you speak to, dies. The whole station dies with him if need be. So, that's how it went. But when I saw you, and then Artyom, I knew I wasn't alone anymore. You can't just keep these things in. Now I understand why you helped us back then. Thank you. Don't mention it. God willing, it won't end up being done in vain. Yes. Have you ever taken a train beyond city borders? No. Didn't get a chance to go. I used to be a metro train engineer. I worked on the ring line. <laughs> what a bore that was. Going round and round all day, round and round. And no real distance either. It used to take less than 30 minutes to make the lap. <laughs> so I kept dreaming about how good it would be to just leave the metro and work on a real railroad. And travel around Russia. Not to run in circles like a, like a rat in a maze, huh? My wife wouldn't let me. We had kids, too. When I'd start going on about the railroad, uh, about my dream, <laughs> she'd stop sleeping with me for months in protest. <laughs> uh, yes. But when Moscow got hit by Tatiana and the little Sashenka were at home, I was working that day. Hirishka was waiting for me in the metro, returning from cram school. So we survived together that day. But in the end, I lost her too. TP. Ah, you know how it goes. So, I'm driving here and talking to Tatiana in my head. See, I say, you couldn't stop me for good after all. Here I am, on a real railroad, a real engineer, Danusha. I'm sorry I got so emotional there. Oh, it's my fault. I'm really sorry. And thank you for telling me. Hey, Artyom! Is there any music on the air? Him. It seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah, it is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. We'll use this place to work on the weapons. Cleaning, oiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. And well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you'd like to keep, I'll store them for you here on the Aurora, and you can come back to exchange them. You'll get them back in their best shape ever, don't you doubt. Oh, boy, have I cleaned and oiled a lot of weapons in my life. Hmm, factory, and homemade too. Some of those were just amazing, so unusual. So, if you have any weapon-related questions, I'm your man. And weapons, they are like girls. They need attention. 
You clean your weapon well, you oil it, you check the ammo, because these dirty ammo caps do get rusty sometimes. But if you put your heart into it, their weapon never fails. Ah, well, I'll just finish oiling this one, then start on another. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Froze anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the brakes! Shots fired! Four bogeys on a trolley! Artyom, you should probably get to the bridge! Are you alright, Artyom? Damn! They pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak! When can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Let's go, Spartans, Artyom. let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, it. Sir. Duke, I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. sir.
Wait, am I not trustworthy anymore? I'd tell you if it was the case, Sam. Now, cut the chatter! Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. Well, that's all. Good luck, guys. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies. By conviction, or fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy. Enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out? I took a look around while you're inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. There's a boat at the dock. Get over here when you're done.
Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. at the church. None seem to be armed. We'd better try the open approach. Let's not fire first, okay?
father, Salantius, has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons sheathed. And welcome! locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silentius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Later. Don't worry. Nancy and I can get to your train by ourselves. So, where is that heretic? He came by boat during the sermon. And then what? Well, he, he was just there and then he kind of disappeared. And just like Father Celeste. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what father said. Tell me if you saw where he went. Well, he just kind of vanished. So, brethren, have you found the Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this Come just fine. I can't take this any longer. I'm no saint like Father Salantius to take it all like he does. Uh. Have you seen the heretic, sister? Of course I did, that heathen. Do it, do it, do it. So you have seen him? We can't even look at them. Father Salantius forewarned us about it. If you look at them, you will see technology. And that's a touch of Satan that takes a hundred days of fasting and three hundred days of prayer to you. Can the heathen be found yet? Oh, what the devil bring? Not yet! I'm sorry, we were just looking for him and we... Ah, forget it. Go then, do the worthy deed. The Satan's bond were not satisfied destroying the old world. So no doubt, they want to bring their spirit into our
job, Artyom. You are like a real ninja. I just kiss you right now. So I've got to take Katya and Nastya to the Aurora, so see you there. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight there from your position. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> Well, I guess you have to go now, Artyom. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt. <laughs>
Here's Artyom, back from the abyss of You're NATO alive. occupation. <laughs> Impressive, after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all locked out with Anna. She's a total dead-eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. So, I've got something Katya. for you. Where are you at Artyom, come over here, please. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yaramak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. Then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau, from the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Are you still here, Artyom? You really should move out to port soon. This is in Ural. A couple of years How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? So can you operate stealthily me. with it? Who can have known I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's nomadic, but it still packs a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us, but now only Nasty and I are alive. I... I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Uh, must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Huh, we call them demons in Moscow. And you call them gargoyles. Yes, where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? 
Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons, and stuff. Nature just went strange. Yeah, the plane has been crashed. No wonder Silantius had such a hold over everyone here, with people seeing things like that every day. Poor fools. They live in darkness and die just like that, reading with disease. I'm a trained nurse.
You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blin, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, Blin. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me, 
Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Блин, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> Anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right. That huge hangar. That's a terminal, blin. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. Their <laughs> tarfish live there, you know. Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. my cave. And this is where I live. Now the palace, one, oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to take it on. If you need ammo, grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like. It. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Some smokes from the villages before the assholes chased me away. Dumb cretins didn't like my life. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. Now you could take the zip line down, just hook up and uh, away you go. But I guess you shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. How bad they thought Judgment Day had come, and right on time, too. <laughs> you have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. The Beast? Wow, that's another story, though. Take these ugly mutant bastards from earlier, for example. One of them, it's nothing. But you come across a pack of them? Oh, yeah. just run. I once had to drop all my shit to just get away, and I consider myself lucky. Woohoo, the motherfuckers are smart. Throwing it off.
going to check out those antennas some 200 meters from the Aurora. She said she saw something there. Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
Coming for you. Ha, Anna! What's going on? Oh my God damn it. We have to tell the others that we found her, Sam. It's good Artyom found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay, all right. So, uh, Arjun, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. Anna, one day I will have a heart attack because of you. <coughs> you are getting detention once you are back, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, it's a few. Thanks for helping find Anna. Now I want you to drag her butt here with extreme prejudice. Time to talk some sense into that brat. <coughs> Stepan's asking for some too. Trying to get civilians on board. Everyone's gone nuts here. <coughs> Head back. Help Stepan persuade my father. About letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Artyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. So, Sam, tell me what the real enemy bases look like so that we know when, when we see it. Well, first of all, there are these huge humanoid robots, all plastered with stars and stripes, with nuclear reactors up their asses, cooked food, burgers, fries. Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well... Maybe they... I don't know. 
I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, we don't know what dangers lie ahead. But still! And I told him I could help. I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle Artyom, please, let us come. I will be good. I will help with everything. I will. Oh, Nastya, quit buggy, Uncle Artyom. Oh, don't you worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk to our commander and sort it all out. Wow, Uncle Artyom is more important than that scary commander with metal legs. <laughs> oh, darling, you can't say that. Well, Uncle Miller is the chief here, but he does listen to what Artyom thinks. Doesn't he, Uncle Artyom? Uh, I was going to go and get that carriage myself, but no dice. Leaving your post, enemy court-martial, you know the drill. So now, it's up to you and Anna to persuade him. Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Hi, Artyom. Alright, welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom. See how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traders' boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sidon, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom, if the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom, it's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyom, it's no two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, 
If you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whatever you want. Always in their best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom. I have something for your Tihar. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. You can exchange your weapons at my workbench here, Artyom. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask. There, where the big tanks are. If you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? A demon took him. A flying one. It was scary. They live there. It took teddy to its children. <sighs> I miss Teddy so much. I wanted to go visit him, but Mom won't let me, because there are electric demons too. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary too. A bit. Artyom. I haven't really thanked you properly for saving me from that stupid cellar yet. You know, I didn't even get scared when I fell. Because I knew you'd come and save me no matter what. Thank you, my love. Now, go. Come back soon and stay away from the hotspots. Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a sit trap before going in. One more thing. That tower to the right, see it? There's someone over there. I think it's the bandits. They're watching us. Uh, well, we heard someone playing guitar over there. Those guys can't play for shit. Stepan wanted to take the instrument from them. They were butchering the melody so badly. So, won't you liberate that guitar? Make an old friend happy. Stepan is a wizard with a six-string. He plays some mean classic rock. Good luck, Artyom. care for a little snack. Fuck you. We get the dog, you drink. 
Nobody to pay for me. Just let me go. The fuck? There's just nobody. <coughs> Please, let me go. <coughs> Why the fuck am I even here? But then either the demons would attack or some other shit. Short. So what the fuck? Fuck them all. Simon, the breach is done for. The fanatics have taken over. I was prepared to give them a quarter of the cargo, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Wanted me to leave my diesel first, and fuck that noise. I'm not pushing the platform with a fucking hand car for 200 clicks. We're neck deep in the red zone. So I'm sending search to you with this message. Sell the diesel to the brothers. They were offering good cash for it, and get that train. Thank you, thank you. Ah, this, 
devils called me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from the father Celandius, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh, oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics, but I tell you anyway, there is a cashier on this island. There is a device, but we can use it. It's a sin, but you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to the starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul. Well, hello, my blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of the scenery now. I heard you were headed to the terminal for the rail car. Then let me fill you in. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal mutants, or so it seems. See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambush the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the terminal like flies to you know what. The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. Bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times. But no dice. I understand why. But we have always protected common folk from low lives like these. So I'm having a hard time staying put. Oh well. See those ruins? There's a bandit camp there too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof. So I wouldn't advise an open attack. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack, so there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out, but the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post.
No. Zeba, why do we keep the dumbasses locked up? <laughs> well, that's a dumb question. What are we supposed to do here? This sucks. Wait for the caravan? <laughs> the Greenhorn, but he's right. Well, it's Klaba and the boys waiting for the caravan, and we are just reserved. Don't matter, these ass hats could have spilled on us, and the plan will go fix up. You see where this is going? Yeah. We'll pick it up. That's if we got lucky. I see. Why didn't we shoot them on the spot then? Do you expect Glava himself to roll once he gets the caravan? We need the book for the big plan. The barges and the slaves are just small change. Wow. And what is this? <laughs> Claiming the bridge. We kill the bridgeheads and get such a fork in the ship and get to Rome River. What the Sack with a fat, juicy whore right about now. <laughs> yeah. What the?
Fucking starved. Coming soon. With booze and weed too. Good times ahead. Hey, you! Let us out! Please. We were on our way to the holy place of worship when the heathens ambushed us. Please. Don't leave us here. Though you are a heretic, we will pray for the salvation of your soul for as long as we live. God bless you. Prayer is great, but I'd like to thank you with something more substantial. Listen close. There's a room in the terminal. We bring all the sinful things there for the fish to purify them. Here, take this key. You're a sinner anyway, and there might be something of use for you there. Simon, you mustn't. Celentius will excommunicate you for that. He won't if you don't tell him. Or perhaps you'd rather die here, by a heathen's blade. Oh, of course not. I won't tell. Let's give him some time to rest. Then we'll walk back to the bridge. My shift's far from over. As a matter of fact, I can. That bastard Baldy got me to do it once, and I was drunk. Mm -hmm. How did she put so, it? A long design? way, a dangerous fate. Feel the mute stranger. Half-eaten corpses hanging over the water. I asked those fanatics about it. Turns out it's their Celantius. When he became the boss, he started feeding all the dead to that fucking fish. 
Shit, that's hardcore as fuck. And to think they call us devils for carving them up. <laughs> sure, I cut their throats, but I still let them rot in peace like people. Putting them up as fish. Ah, shit. Well, that's I'm just like I say, screw them. <sighs> passing out so here. Well, that's the no good. Nah, there's also those fucking mutants. So I take them both into the main hall. Well, this just doesn't feel right. We should all just go back home, I say. It didn't like the noise, so it just leaps out of the water 15 meters high, knocks down the bridge where all the fuckers are gathered, and starts jumping. Shit. The fucking sound gives me the creeps. Fuck, how did you get out then? Me? Oh, I didn't. It fucking ate my ass.
the agent does not seem to impact the pelagic fish species that much. The perch and roach young have shown a marginal increase in growth.
Hunters over there. Actually, a whole bunch. Well, in case of any trouble, you know what to do. Okay, this is my last tip, so I have to make it last. September 20th. Tonight, we had a preacher barge into the council meeting to spell some bullshit about God having spared us specifically, and then sending the ball lightning to punish us for our sins. Sins? What's he even talking about? Our last generator is out because of those things. People died. <laughs> he didn't stop at sins. No, he went on to say that we have to fight the demon of electricity with prayer, fasting, and charms. Charms? If those idiots actually listened to him. Luckily, Roman had enough sense to kick the madman out, or else I would have blown my fuse. Anyway, due to those idiotic ramblings, we've agreed to delay the construction of the lightning rod stockade a bit. Let the madman show his charms in action. September 27th. Excellentius isn't as dumb as he seems. Those charms of his were actually lightning rods. It took so long for our electricians to explain proper grounding, and the people still think they can cheat physics. But this guy just told them God ordered to do it this way, and what do you know? They destroyed three of those ball lightning things yesterday with no losses. The Roman was unhappy though. <laughs> There's no pleasing some people. But what difference does the color of a cat make as long as the cat catches the rats? October 5th. Salantius is right. We have to get rid of the rest of the equipment. It does attract the ball lightning, and it's not like we are ever going to restore the normal supply of electricity without our generator. So, what's the point in taking a risk by keeping the stuff? We can live without it. October 7th. Roman is dead. That catfish. Yes. There was no real need to gather everyone. We could have gone through it gradually. And it is true that some of the actual useful stuff got thrown into the river too. But such things are bound to happen. It's hardly worth starting a commotion over it, jumping into the water. <sighs> he definitely could feel the power seeping through his fingers. But to go so far as to raise a hand against Salantius? It happened exactly the way the man told us it would too. December 31st. The tape is coming to an end, just as this year. God willing, our troubles are going to end with it, too. We're no longer alone in this world. The God is with us, so who could stand against us? Not me, that's for sure. And this means this log is done for. A New Year's Eve is a perfect time to turn a new page. <laughs> Besides, as Father Salantius says, Electricity is a sin.
just satanic voices from hell. Lucifer himself is making these sounds to tempt us. It could also attract demons. Oh, damn! Who goes there? It's one of them! A heretic! You're from that train, aren't you? Well, hello there, friend. Peace be upon thee. You seem to be hailing from a really advanced place. Just look at your gear. Huh? Satanic trifles! You see, son? He's a good man. He knows how to behave. No need to be nervous. You just... You know... Don't be angry with the locals. It's just that there have been lots of attacks lately, so they're kind of riled up. Silentius is brainwashing them all the time, too. Sinful words, father! You see this one? He's my son. Here you do what Silentius says, or else you're in trouble. I heard that Crest joined you. That's good. He's a good man. It would be a shame for him to just die for nothing. And he's tough, too. And thanks for taking Katya and her child in as well. It was such a mess, you know. I'd come with you, too. I can shoot really well. Right after the war, it was like those Western movies around here. But I've got a son. And because of his mom's stupidity, he's a fish worshipper. And he won't leave this place, no matter what. I can't just leave the dummy here. Do you even know what that movie is, son? Have you heard about those? It's a sin, father. Sin to say such things about our community. Especially to a heretic. Oh, sin, sin, you're like a broken record. Use your head. You see how it goes here? Ah, well, you, you'd better go now. Somebody really might see you with us. And Godspeed to you. What the hell are you doing? You just broke it! Do you know how much I paid Crest for the batteries alone? You damn! First, it's a sin. Second, you just went and brought a heretic upon us with this hellish contraption. Think fish he was peaceful. And we won't get this lucky next time. And last, someone really might hear. Then neither of us would get away with it. Let's just go home and forget all about seeing the heretic and about this technological possession of yours. As if it never happened. All right. Let's go. Just promise me that you won't do things like that anymore. Don't put me in jeopardy. Then my Lenka and I are going to make your grandchild next year. If you promise not to put this technological challenge on me, it's a sin.
I don't get this. Why are we sitting here? And why do you send the boys to the bridge? This just doesn't feel right. Those bridge has got no wood, and we can't sell them off to Astrakhan. Half would die before we got there, and paying off the Krivoy gang on the way would leave us in the Riyadh. Don't fret. Glab has got it all covered. The boys are there so that the bridgeheads don't squeal on us to the caravaneers. Oh, what is that caravan carrying? Ammo or something? <laughs> well, it's all going to be ours no matter what. But the main point is that they got the sidebone. All the others buy slaves from Astrakhan and throw their barges up the river. <laughs> and these guys? <coughs> they don't need no gold. This is just pointless. Pointless, I say. Fuck this. I have to have a smoke now. Carvist, just fucking unbearable. This fucking place.
fucking wasted. The hangover is fucking killing me. I'd sure like something to chew on right about now. Well, what the fuck are we all even doing here? Oh, it's not like there's any loot to be had, really. I have a smoke now. I don't know. Kind of 
spooky in here. Do I have a smoke now? I don't know. Kind of... home is here. Wow, that's amazing. Uncle Tom. I knew you, you had great potential, even back then at the Jammer. Ah, oh, isn't she a beauty? Teddy? Teddy, are you really back? You're my hero, Teddy. Mom, Teddy's back. What do you have to say? Oh, thank you, Uncle Artyom. Thank you so much. Artyom, come up here. I have something to talk to you about. Thank you, Artyom. I don't even know how to thank you. Спасибо. Thank you, Artyom. You are the man. I am in your debt. Hello, Artyom. So, are you ready for that final push? Wow, where did you get this? God damn, this is cool. Thank you, man. You just blew my mind. You're back. 
You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up, and... And... I pray to God it works out. Hmm. I can't give you or Duke any direct support. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. One more thing, Artyom. Look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Uh, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, uh, who knows what will happen? Huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model, and as such should remember that you are special forces, huh? not tank jocks. Good luck, Artyom. Welcome back, Ranger. <laughs> it looks like I've been worrying for nothing. <sighs> it's my age, I guess. Oh, well, we were all worried. Yeah, but Anna took it to a whole new level, I must say. Artyom, look, I have an improvement for Tihar ready. Try taking it out for a trial. You're welcome to use the workbench to install it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't even begin to explain how much this means to us. Thank you. You see, it's our carriage from a year ago. So many things happened. Uh, Artyom, uh, the team took the long way around to the port. But you could get there faster. There's a boat there. Or you could just take a zip line from the bandit tower. Well, Artyom, break a leg. Good luck to you. In the port and on the bridge, too. Artyom, we are in position, awaiting orders. Artyom, I see you. Come up here on the crane. You made it. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. 
Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So, so they, they have, have more guards, guards than, than we anticipated. anticipated. It seems risky, but Crest says such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if we capture him, the others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to pick the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... This seems to be the best spot for white empty. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Perhaps we should wait for dusk. It might be easier then. Some of the guards might fall asleep. You could rest here in the cabin in the meantime. Well, it's time. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Idiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke, and Crest take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. Follow me, but... I'm aboard there. I'll distract them. You get on. Hide here and wait for them to pass. Hey, what was that? We have to check it out. Uh, what's the point? Do you have to look for more stuff to do? Well, I sure don't like it, but we gotta check. All right, let's do that. I'll avenge you if you get eaten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Just don't shoot my ass, though, okay, you avenging angel? Thank <laughs> you. 
So, are we going to Nizhny this time? No, we'll turn back about 20 clicks from there. Fuck those assholes. <coughs> You're talking about the outpost? There's nothing. Yeah, the last time we were there, that fucking so-called vigilant watchman made a sieve out of our bridge. Okay. Conveniently, everything was all right while we were unloading the wares, but when the time came to play out... Damn assholes. Well said. So now, even if they offer a crate of ammo for a piece of bread, I don't care. I'd sooner go to Baku than there. Well, they say it's no fun in games over there either. Nobody knows really. Everybody's just the lying their asses off. But we know about Nizhny for sure. See the scar? There you have it. There you at least know where the enemy is. Standing guard in a place like this. Oh, shit, it doesn't sound like a good career prospect. Hey, you got any smokes? Uh, nope. It's not tobacco, right. it's bait. Be my guess. There's a float between the barges. Climb overboard. <laughs> Uh, you can't eat all the fish. Anyway, move along and quit scaring the fish away with your bullshit. It's high time it started biting. Standing, standing, standing. And standing around for a change of fate. The tempo. So how long are we going to keep sitting on our thumbs here? Well, Mikhailich is working on it. The generator shuts off all the time, though. Yeah, that's because you should have picked up normal spark plugs, not the shit you got. It sure would have saved us a lot of trouble. Well, they aren't so bad. Look how long they lasted. And Ahmed wanted two more clips for the new guys, so... But anyway, what's your problem? Are you in a hurry? This place gives me the creeps. That monster in the river? This shit is I too much. much better. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame you aren't in Shiboxery. Why is that? Oh, one of those monsters sunk a barge. Now that's bullshit. Tell that to Sergei when you see him. He and the boys wanted to catch it. How? The usual way. Got a boat anchor, put a roasted dog on it, tied the rope to a bollard, and then they waited. Huh? Hey, who's that? So, what happened? Hey, it bit, that's what. And it bit so no, well, no, it tore the cord off All the barge, right, it was nothing. along with half of its side. My bad, I guess. So it sunk on the spot. Wow! Like, wow! Bullshit. What happened next? Well, they swam ashore. And by the time they got out of the water, two of Sergei's friends had been eaten. He just opened its mouth and swallowed them whole. Bullshit! And why, pray tell, is Sergei all gray, even though he's just turned 40? How am I supposed to know? Well, just ask him. He'd tell you about swimming with that monster behind. Oh, oh yeah. shouldn't have had that extra... Shit. Right, I'd better be going. Me too. All right. 
Yeah, I'd better go too. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! We don't need your goods! Your tugboat, on the other hand! You can collect it at the bridge if you play your cards right! You got me? Uh, yes, of course! Order your people to stand down and nobody gets hurt! At once! Hey, listen up, people! This is your skipper! Stand down and surrender at once! You did the right thing. It's nice to talk to a smart guy for a change. Now go! <laughs> Great job, Artyom. Artyom, all of our guys are fine. You did great. So? You guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not, we have no time to waste. Good luck guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, way anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyom, it's Duke. You're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, Belet. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. You are sure? Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Dick is bleeding. So, you Artyom, shall we move? Man? Whoever gets there first we wins. Break a leg. Leave the whole side apart. Have to run the barge ashore. What you gonna do now? Artyom, Duke, the Aurora is quietly moving into position. We'll be ready to act on your signal. Roger that, sir. We're on it. Because they have a Just like Father Salandios foretold. Who arrived? Sacred slaves! It's like you missed the morning sermon. Well, I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight demons for that. Uh, but it's so early. Just tell me what he said. Oh, all right. Well, a heretic, 
actually arrived right at the service, just like it was foretold. They rang the bell, so our guys took the boat, went there and shared the place. But the heretic just vanished. Not to mention you see, that Katia is and his back. Oh, he's scared. Back? But he grilled out to eradicate all the demons. You don't just come back after that. Hmm? Well, ask anyone. They got captured by heathens, but a heretic. One of the new ones freed them. Ah, old Simon just got cold feet, that's all. All the stories people tell not to go. No, he did not. He came back and made a huge fuss at the church and got his way too. Now we will be praying for that heretic instead of Simon. You got that? I should have gone. For a heretic? If you told me off, I should have gone to the heretic. That's all. Then he so just nice made the same kiss the altar and hey, went back. Brother, to the demons. everyone is looking for a better life. Which is where? Look around! The eyes are young! And shout if you see anything! Got that? And the skies rained missiles! And the ground burned to ash! And the seas boiled! And people turned into shadows. But our culture survived. For the faithful reside here. And the Lord in his mercy and wisdom <laughs> has chosen one among them who goes by the name of Silantius. And so speaketh the Lord. I will be with you and will keep you safe. Provided you are true in your devotion. Provided you reject satanic technology. We reject. And even more so, do you reject Satan's deception? That thing they call electric current. The cursed gift the enemy gave to the fools. So that they would fancy themselves above reproach, above God, and more powerful than Him. We reject! Amen, my children! For the electric current is Satan's temptation and his poison. Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be let through by the sarfish. What trickery? So let us not fear the heretics at our door. The ones who would attack our cloister. Even with their iron feet standing before us, Thinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us, we will not falter. Let us steel ourselves against them, for this is our hour of glory. We'll never get past the starfish. So you got me, you damned heretics. You took Katya, and now you have me. Damn, you are quicker too! Look, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully, our guys won't shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time. And Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First, you kill off the local cutthroats. And then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers! Hold your fire! You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots! 
Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop. Or the bridge might collapse. You are a roach up here. We've reached an agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move slowly. And don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs> We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? about how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go. Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified, since so far we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. <laughs>